We're again showing our data center. Um, Palmy ID continues to lead the market in, in data center tagging, and it's still a large revenue contributor for us. Uh, many have read the case studies we've had with Hewlett Packard and Cisco and the big installs we've done there. We have several other really large customers right now in implementation, which I can't tell you about or I'd have to kill you. Um, <laughs> but many millions of tags going into data centers today. The market leading tag in that market is this, our Prox NG. <clears throat> it's a very complex tag with multiple structures to it. It looks simple, but it actually takes a lot to get it consistent the way it is. What's key about this tag is it holds really steady to a 1.3 meter read range, almost within 10% up or down. Really? And no matter what, whether it's on metal or on plastic, or whether it's in the EU band or on the American band, that kind of global consistent performance is what differentiates us from our competitors. Many others have tried to emulate it, but this tag has really taken maximum market share. We probably have 85% of that market just with that tag alone because of its consistency and its reliable performance. And it's a top seller <coughs> on our website too. We have mm -hmm. a lot of those sold, I mean, especially lately, so we mm -hmm. know that they're really good tags. They work really well. Yeah. It's one of our highest volume tags and we produce right. millions of them and they, uh, they're going out to a lot of key customers and they're very, very reliable. Very high quality in them too. Our quality inspection process um, is very, very tight on that. We're one of the few manufacturers that actually take tags out of shipment if they're too hot. In other words, if they're reading too long, too far distance. Oh, wow. um, the key here is that we sort these out before they get to site, and they're all rock steady right on that consistent spot. Why is that important? When you're scanning a cabinet like this, you're trying to take inventory and not catch the cabinet next door right. or the cabinet on the other side. And having that consistency allows you to put your reader settings in a very tight parameterization and take very accurate inventory. Oh, awesome. So we hear from our customers. We know that that's important. Um, additional things like this are our uh, Flex AI is another labeling type product that can be used. And of course our IQ labels line, our on-metal labels, also are being used on things like disk drives, tape drives, ejector arms. So we, we have a full tagging solution for data center assets that's been really popular and we're doing a lot of good business with. Wow, yeah, and you've got even tags down here. Well, mm -hmm. you've got the Prox and G again. The so Prox is tethered, another label tag another on label top. Tag. Yep, a previous Prox. So you can pretty much tag anywhere on we here. We can. And once again, our visual tag. So imagine putting that on the cabinet, giving your workers instructions, telling them what that cabinet's all about. Um, if you had to, for instance, find a server that was bad or had to be replaced, you could send the message here so it would give the message to the worker and they knew what it was and then be able to pull it out. You wouldn't have to come down here and explain anything. You just have the message go to the tag and then, yep. I mean, it's taken off the floor. Exactly. That's, That's the idea. That's amazing. That's the idea. Another really important sector for us, which is our oil and gas sector. Uh, we really started here because as an on-metal tag provider, there's a lot of metal and oil and gas with metal pipes and different devices. So we continue to sell a lot of tags in this sector. We have some very major customers around the world that are putting our tags on. Um, some of our popular ones are pipe tag have been around for a long time. Um, this is a new version of our Adept 400 and it comes in two types. One has this wrap around to be able to strap attach and the other is the flat version, just the internal that can be welded down to the pipe. Wow. There's actually another version that we're not showing here where the bottom layer of this is put out in tabs so it can be spot welded directly onto the pipe. Wow. This has been epoxy glued on here with a, one of our partners. We do DEF CON welding a lot as a, a recommended attachment mechanism for this onto metal. As you can see, it does a tremendous job. Oh, you yeah. cannot remove it once it's on there. So whether we strap attach, glue attach, or weld with a spot welder, mm -hmm. this tag has been a really popular one for pipe tagging. It's right. almost indestructible. It withstands sledgehammer blows um, repeatedly, so pipes clanging together, any kind of transport issues, it's a solid metal tag that just isn't going anywhere. Wow, that's amazing, <laughs> yeah. sledgehammer blows. <laughs> yeah, that's a fantastic one for, for that. Yeah. We also do things for cylinders. Um, these round tags are fantastic for putting on curved surfaces, whether it's the roundness of a, a pipe or an actual gas cylinder. We've got some major deals where we're putting this on gas cylinders as well in, in the cylinder market too, but uh, right. that's an important tag for us as well. One of the things that uh, <coughs> was necessitated here is that we received ATEC certification on some of our tags to go in explosion-proof environments. Okay. That's a really arduous process, even with a passive tag. It's even worse when you get into active products with batteries yeah. and power systems. Um, but we've gone through that expense to get those kinds of things certified. What we lacked was a good platform that could also operate as a mobile reader inside uh, of that environment. And there wasn't a lot of support in the marketplace for that, an explosion-proof tablet that could be used. So we found we had to cultivate a partnership to help develop that. And that's what we have here with DAP Technologies. Uh, okay. DAP has produced a series of readers. Uh, this one's their 9020 model. And this 9020 model is fully certified for Class 1 Div 1, or ATEC Zone 1, Gas Group 2B, um, which is important for some of our customers. And we've integrated our reader and our software with that. So this can be used to go scan in the yard either passive tags or our new active tags. Um, it has a backpack attachment here that you can see. 
Yeah. So this backpack on the back is how they let third parties be able to put readers in place. Okay. And we can put our reader card directly in here to be able to talk to our tags. Well, great, and that's explosion proof. And that's explosion proof, yep. Wow. It's rated for hazardous environments and you can use it right inside of a gas plant, liquid propane plant. Um, it's rated for those kinds of conditions. Well, that's pretty rugged. <laughs> <laughs> What's running on it right now is our example software package called Tag Lab. You can see the OmniID Tag Lag so software app is a, um, a simple piece of software that just allows a customer to initially monitor their tags, find out where they are, and then pull up all the, not only the ID, but the extended information, things like battery life, um, any kind of user parameters that have been written to it. In this case, we're talking to them about temperature, because um, we okay. wanted to do that for our demo. And I don't know if our demo, oh yes, our demo's here. So as you can see, these three tags <coughs> are being shown right now on the screen in green. Right. You see they've got healthy showing? Yes. And that's their three unique ID numbers showing on the left-hand column. What's also interesting is that we can actually look at their temperature. Wow, really? Each one of these tags has a temperature sensor inside of it. Okay. And so when we put it in here, the first thing you notice is that even in water and ice, up to a meter's depth of water, you can still read that tag. Okay, um, that's, that's awesome. Completely underwater. So as we work with Atlas, one of our key suppliers, or, or key partners in the construction market, um, Atlas is a leader in really rugged construction yards. And when we designed this tag, we worked closely together with them to understand what a construction yard is like. Right. And the first thing we learned, of course, is that these things can be strapped on a pipe spool and spun around in the snow, frozen in the ice, covered in mud. And so you needed to have not only a rugged case outer, which this is, this is completely sealed, you can immerse it for years and it'll keep on running, wow. um, but also have a very rugged RF performance. Mm -hmm. That's why we chose 433 as our frequency. 433 penetrates liquids really well. Uh, not only the human body, but things like water and ice. Right. Unlike the higher frequencies, like a Wi-Fi tag, would be completely dead in here right now. Right. You wouldn't be able to hear it. So this allows you to have this rotated in the mud, in the water, and, and really still transmit and be able to receive it just as well. So that's what's really cool about that tag. But um, because temperature is so important, we integrate a temperature sensor into every tag. Okay. That allows us to do a couple of different things. Uh, for some applications, you can actually use that to do you know, chain of custody, how cold has it gotten, right. things like that if you want to but it also allows us to adjust the beacon rates when it gets really cold. Okay. Um, this tag is designed to operate at minus 40 and still have that multi-year battery life. Wow. And one of the reasons it's able to do that is it adjusts its transmit frequency based on how, uh, or transmit characteristics based on how cold the temperature gets. Wow. So it's kind of smart that way. So yeah, it's like a smart tag. It knows where it is, <laughs> when it is, and what it needs to do. Exactly. And <laughs> that's, that's one, awesome. one part of the equation that's important. The tag has to be smart so it knows how to behave, right. but it also has to give smart data back to the system. Right. When it talks to Jovix, for instance, Jovix is able to interrogate the tag and not just find out its ID, but be predictive about when it might possibly fail. Right. The tag is recording how many beacons it beacons at each temperature range. There's three different ranges, you know, from minus 40 up to about minus 5, from minus 5 up to about plus 15, then from plus 15 and hotter. And those bands help us understand um, how, many, how much battery it should have drawn with that many beacons. Okay. So when Jovix interrogates the tag, it's able to say, how much more life do I have in it? I can be predictive with an algorithm to understand how much more should be left. Um, our customers are really sensitive to losing material, obviously. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> and if a tag dies, you won't find the material. But if you know a tag is only going to last for two or three more months, because of the predictive nature of the algorithm, you have a chance to replace it at least. Exactly. And not lose your material. So it's an important smart feature of the tag. So you're so. ahead of the curve. You know when you need to go in there and, and replace it, and especially a bunch of snow and ice, yep. you, you know when it's ready. Absolutely. It's awesome. And that's really your worst case. Your, right. Your most important thing is that every time you commission a new job, you might use this tag on four or five jobs, right. uh, lay down yards, where it might be there for nine months. When it comes back, you recycle it, use it on the next job. What you really cared about is when you go on the next job, but you know the material might be there for a year in the yard, do I have a year's left, a yeah. year's worth of battery life? And you can sort your tags and take ones that are maybe at the end of their life, take them out, replace them with a new one in the population. Well, so awesome. that predictive nature is really important to save cost.